Happy Sabbath, everyone, and Merry Christmas. And I am so privileged to be able to speak for the Pathfinders today. I noticed that in January as well as March, when I have my next uh, children's time, I am uh, speaking for the Pathfinders and the money that is waving in the air and the children are coming to eagerly get from you is going to be for the Pathfinders each time that I uh, have my children's time, so I like that. Wow, I think that I'm not sure <laughs> that I have enough things for such a large group of children. So if you don't get anything today, just accept my apologies. I feel like a teacher right now, and of course I was a teacher most of my uh, adult career, and so I always had to have a bear. Um, how many of you have had bears in your childhood? when you were little bitty ones and when you've gotten older, yeah. It's just, isn't it wonderful to just cuddle up to a little bear? Yes, and I have some more in here, but I don't have enough for all of you. But I also have some little books. I was thinking this morning about how I loved teaching, and especially, I mean, winter, spring, summer, and fall, because I always taught straight through. Um, I love the fall and coming up into December 20th when winter actually starts, and of course Christmas. And I know you're all happy for that. So I think what I'd like to do, if it would be possible, I would like to do, um, I'm going to give this bear not to anyone to keep because this one is mine. <laughs> But I'm going to, um, at story time, it was my uh, custom to let the helper of the day to be the one to hold the bear or whatever else that I had. So I'm going to give it to someone. And then I'm not speaking very long today for you uh, because we have a really good sermon coming up. And uh, I'm anxious to hear that too. But I'm going to pass it around to a couple of different ones of you to hold. And I'd appreciate it if you would just hold it tight so that no one else will want to take it from you. <laughs> because I don't know who I'm going to pick. I'm just, I'm just going to. Well, I think the most important part of our lives is trying to figure out what we want to do with our life. And as children, you just think of the toys you like to play with and the friends you love to be with and going to uh, church on Sabbath with your family and learning about Jesus. And so since this is Christmas, and who is the real reason 
for Christmas. Is it teddy bears? Yes or no? Teddy bears are the main reason for Christmas? Well, for some of you, they might be. <laughs> OK, uh, do you think it's this beautifully decorated tree here? No, but it is pretty, isn't it? And how many of you have a pretty tree in your house right now? OK, I do too. Well, let me see. Could it be someone that is supposed to come all over the world in a single night and bring you toys under the tree for when you get up on Christmas morning? Who is that? Santa, that's right. Is Christmas about Santa? No? Tiny little bit, but mostly Christmas is about baby Jesus, that's right. And so, I want you, whether you grow up to be a teacher and to teach children how to read or about animals, like I enjoy sharing at children's time, um, there's so many things to learn in our world and so many things to do, so many smart people that God has given a brain that can think think and figure out things. My husband is really good at numbers. So he's a mathematician as far as I'm concerned. But we all have our special thing. And whatever it is that God uh, impresses your heart that you want to do as you grow up and as you get grown is to just to do your very best and be a teacher. You don't have to be a teacher in a classroom to be a teacher. Do any of you have siblings, brothers or sisters? OK. You can be a teacher to them by being a good example. All right? So if you were to get a book, would you want to share that book, maybe? OK. All right. Right, and what I have is a few little bears. They're so cute. This one has a little snowflake on it. And there's four of these that are red that have a little bear kneeling over a manger with a little baby Jesus in it. There isn't even as a little bitty miniature book that's called the Bible. And there's a verse in there. And let's see. There's a white one. This one has a candy cane on it. Everybody like candy canes at Christmas time? Yes. I'm just going to kind of be very careful. And I know that you're going to be disappointed if you don't get something. But Christmas is coming. So if you get left out today, I'm sorry I didn't have a hundred of these. And there's another red one. Hope that didn't hurt him in any way. And then I have some books. They're not very difficult books. Many of you would be able to read these, some of you might not be, but you have parents that can help you, or older brothers or sisters that can help you too. T-bone on top. That's Clifford, right? Mm -hmm. Here's a little story about the tree hut. One about the big hill. That's a really good snow story. And Pip the big pig. Here's one about smoke. Oh, I think we have to be careful if we smell smoke. Here's one about the wise men, St Christmas story. And here's one about the little engine that could and the snowy, blowy Christmas. And a big coloring and activity pages book that goes through the Bible, and it does get to uh, Jesus being born 
right there. Kind of just real quickly goes through the Bible. And uh, so that might be something that any of you would like. But I just want you to remember to share. You're not too old to hold a bear. <laughs> I think you had a look like, you're not going to pick me, are you? <laughs> Just remember that however old you are and whatever you're going to be when you grow up, just enjoy your life, winter, spring, summer, and fall, Easter, Christmas, your birthday. Share with others. And one thing I would like for you to do, and see if you can remember to do this, when you go home, make sure that every day, you tell your special family members, whether they're all with you, living with you right now, or whether they're not, but hug your moms, your dads, your aunts and uncles, your grandmas and grandpas, and your brothers and sisters, and your friends, and all of your church family here at Parkwood. And let them know what they mean to you, because that's what Christmas is all about and you'll be a little teacher, too. Thank you for being such good listeners. Now, I'm going to move my bear. I'm going to ask for Children that are two or three or four to come down first carefully while everyone that's older stays in your place. If you're two or three or four years old, come on over and you can pick something from the floor. Okay? <clears throat> There's, and you may go back to your seats after you've done that. Okay, if you're five, come on down. Don't you love that? It's like, I don't know what I'm going to pick. <laughs> that was so cute. Thank you. If you're six or seven, if you already have your what you picked, you can go back to your place, okay? If you already got your bear or your book, you can go back to your place. Or you can stay there. There's only two left. Who's going to be very nice that's up here and doesn't have anything, and you're going to help one of the younger children to get what's left? Okay. There's a couple of young ones over there. Okay. There's still two. The tree hut and smoke. Okay, whoever wants them, you can get them. Thank you. You can go back to your seat. 